What the hell, dude? Anyway, sorry for being a bit breathless. I just did some push-ups because I was a bit angry. And I watched the video. <laughs> I watched the video which, which might be the most black-pilling thing I've seen in a while. And although I disagree with the black pill on every single metric, it does have some truths. And I think, honestly, like, a, a lot of it can just be mitigated by hard work and, like, status and through other like, means, like, oh my god, it's just, guys, I don't know if you guys know the model Jordan Barrett, he's quite famous, fucking hell, it was crazy, bro, let me show you guys, who's that, this, boom, see that technique, you guys don't know, so I had a transition for the YouTube, Maybe. Dude, look, my opera's frozen now. Oh, there's just no way. Bro. Can I, want, can I pause this? I have to add these two videos together. For fuck's sake, man. Yeah, so here's the video. Jesus Christ, I didn't mean to make it so long. I took a lot longer than I should have for this video. And we got Jordan Barry here, six foot two of some sort. You know, walking up, going into some fashion show. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyways, he he meets some fans outside, and this is how they react. Yeah, and he's a little kid, name. and the little kids. I mean, the little kid who cares. So nobody cares. That takes the picture. Okay, whatever. And then this guy comes. And then, like, bro does not want to be there. And this guy's like. Jordan Barrett, in terms of looks, this guy's like a. Before the plastic surgery. Um, definitely like a 9 out of 10, straight up. 9.9 9 .9 out of 10. Like, oh, he's almost perfect. You know, girls get weirded out by how perfect he looks. He's that perfect he looks. In terms of everything. And this guy's pretty much really like sub 2. Sub one, in the in the black pill terms, and then the guy he he isn't even short either. He's probably like he's 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 like, you know, slouching. So he doesn't he doesn't have good posture, you know. He doesn't work. He doesn't exercise. He doesn't work out or anything. He's he's balding. It's just no no head treatment. No no. There's no look smacking at all, right? And then black pillars are like, oh, we're all so finished, oh, because. Oh my god, because look at this one ugly dude, and then he's with the most handsome dude on the planet. Oh no, like, what, this, you have to understand, this is, this is like a, like a, a weird dichotomy that you live in. Like, this is, this, this is like one of the most attractive males on the planet, dude. And he's just, <laughs> he, he's chilling there with some guy who's, you know, really a, a below average. And, and then all the black people are like, using this as justification in order to remain mediocre and, Remained black pill and remained nihilistic and just like what the fuck? Shut the fuck up, bro. And this guy's clearly like not focusing on his looks. He's not focusing on grinding, he's not focusing on working hard. Sorry. It will look a lot different if you exercise and everything. And like you see the smile like vaporize off of his face because Jordan does not want to be there. Like, like uh, bro, this is also the video actually. I can't, I'm not a poet, it. Sorry. Oh my, oh my god. This guy gets picked though. He's fresh. And the guy leaves. It's so interesting how, like, everyone could see it. When I first watched the video, like, anyone on the planet could see it. Like, they weren't treated as human. Which is obviously wrong. You know, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. And we all should be treated like human. But they weren't treated like humans. Why? Because of their looks. And that's, that is, it's I fucked up to say, like, look at this. Okay, that, that's that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. This is really up here is wrong. Cause um, you never know how good you look if you don't work hard. If you don't work for it, like you never know how good you look. Anyways, comment section says never seen people so happy to get mugged. Jordan, can I get one? I, you just got one. Notice his frown when the subhuman. Subhuman is crazy. 
approaches him brutal. He was scared to absorb his subhuman energy and pheromones. This video is legendary. A visual dictionary definition of the word mog. Well, you have... How do I do this? The disparity between two dudes. One is extremely ugly and one is extremely, extremely handsome. And... When you have a disparity this, this large, it, it, it becomes like... It becomes difficult to comprehend because these two individuals come from completely different worlds, you know. And there's no doubt in my mind that the guy on the left, could, you know, the guy on the right, he could become as attractive. No, not as attractive, but surely a bit more attractive. He fixes posture, fixes fashion, fixes hair, fixes beard, he looks bad, fixes body fat. If you, if you work extremely hard on himself, there is no doubt in my mind that he would get somewhere within his, you know, his looks. He wouldn't be treated like a lone animal. Like everyone else could notice. But he isn't. He isn't, and then a guy who's completely out of his league per se is just like, yeah, it probably is the most black thing really ever. To be perfectly honest with you, but most of you guys like, most of you guys aren't this ugly. <laughs> most of you guys are this ugly. Like, there's steps you can use in order to mitigate being this, like this, this fucking, this fucked up, bro. Um, Mark so brutal. YouTube may take down the video for gore. Is crazy. I can't believe it was five years ago. I was 13 years old. Jesus Christ. Um, ethnic is just fuck. Height, 6'2". Um, they are curry cell. I'm a brown guy myself, 6'1", which is super rare here. Bro, shut up, bro. <laughs> I keep hearing rice cell, curry cell, black cell, <laughs> white cell. Bro, everyone... <laughs> <laughs> Big yawn. I'm fucking tired. Um, height mog, jaw mog, chin mog, hair mog. Man, I'm gonna jawline. I worked for it. Um, if I do make, if I do make this into a, an actual video, you guys will be able to see that. Yeah, I fucking. I, I used to be. I used to be hideous, but I I do know what I'm talking about here. Um, haha, Jordan is looks so insulted by being touched by that guy. He pushes his chest against him to push him away. Lol, like you're like you he like yeah I agree like he, he pushes his chest away into like signifying like you know get the fuck away from me you're, you're gross, almost as if Ian and Trim is human which is kind of sad. It's kind of, it's kind of so gross. He pushes his chest against him to push him away. Lol. This video is just so fucking brutal, I come back to it every year. What's worse is the cheesy grins on the two guys' faces. True bro, Jordan was very rude with them, Lemo, he should be more humble. Well, Jordan, I'm pretty sure he was, like, he's really into looks maxing as well, so. He didn't used to be, the, like, the most handsome kid. Maybe, like, at mid, mediocre. So there's no doubt in my mind that he's definitely looks maxed to maximum, um, yeah. I'm 99% sure this is in Australia too. I'm also aside from, being, from the fact that those two look a little cognitively challenged. They also look to be second gen immigrants already brutal for them here. He treated like he treated them like they weren't even human, like some kind of farm animal being pushed aside. Well, you're just calling them fucking retarded, bro. You're calling them stupid. You're calling them men. You're calling them mongoloid. Like this is not. It's it's just this is a mask. And that's the worst possible thing you can say. Like, what the fuck? Second gen immigrants too. So they even they're, they're even worse off. Like, what the fuck? I'm second gen immigrant. Like, I'm not making excuses out here. What? Like, okay, this guy's tweaking. This guy's tweaking so much. I had to like the comment, bro. Why should he be humble? He's basically a god on earth, and they ain't even humans, bro. <laughs> I like Jordan because he's black pilled, but he should touch grass. He had surgery, whatever, whatever. Um, and then, and then you know, they get used as a guy. What the hell just happened, bro? Technical difficulties. Mugging those true cells. I don't know. I don't know what these, these things are. True cells. I know the curry cell thing. Um, the rice cell thing. PSL. What does PSL stand for? Biggest mog, 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 mog. Okay, okay. This is a bit crazy. 
The reality of the situation is, I love, I love the reason, the reality of the situation. <laughs> My number one most used phrase. The reality of the situation is, is that these two individuals are ugly. They're ugly. They're probably one or two or three. Jesus Christ, his hairstyle's hideous, bro. I'm in the front position, so look better that way. Jesus Christ, why is the lighting so poor? I'll use my phone for lighting again, but I look like I'm getting kidnapped. Free me! Free me! <laughs> you see me the thing, is it? Oh, so the reality of the situation was, those guys are pretty ugly. Like, they are the most attractive individuals. Which is fine, because you can, like, I, I used to be extremely hideous. I'm the most handsomest looking guy on the planet, but I certainly look much better than I did before. If I don't, if I don't fix this dumbass haircut, I'd look much, much better, but it, it doesn't matter to me at the moment. I'm making a fucking YouTube video at 2 a.m. in the morning, I don't care. Like... I did name this video the most black pilling video um, ever. Or I might, I might do something more clickbait like... Uh, <laughs> So it could be ultra kicking like K pop star. I'm not a K pop star. <laughs> it could be like K pop star, I think encourages black pill, something like that. But I, I, I don't know. I just. Well, the, tr the truth is, guys, is like, like, you have a choice at the end of the day. Like, you, unless you have little Down syndrome or like a mental deficiency, there is no excuse you should deploy in order. To you know, justify your shittiness, your mediocre, your mediocrity. Like, guys, you're you're fighting against Jordan Barrett. Now, Jordan Barrett, I think he's gay now, but uh, bisexual. I'm not sure, but it's none of my business. But he's swimming in girls, bro. <laughs> he's swimming. Like he's he's scooping all of them up, bro. He's got he's got. I remember Jordan Pearson said it as well. Jordans. Jordans. <laughs> I was gonna bring up my Jordan. I was like, oh my god, Jordans, because I have, I have just Jordans. I don't know, man. I've been obsessed with these. I haven't even wore these yet. I'm completely obsessed with these. Anyways, um, I just have Jordans. I don't have any Air Forces. No, I have Air Forces. I don't have any Air Maxes. Are Jordan Air Max? Anyway, this, this is irrelevant to the video. I'm, I'm fucking up the video now. Um, Jordan Peterson said, you know, when you have. Wait, my microphone's here. When you have guys that are so handsome, or like the outlier male, the top 10, 20% of men, like they get so many girls, they don't know what to do with those amount of girls, if you, if you catch my drift, and they deploy short term mating strategies. And guys on the lower end of the spectrum, they hear this and like, oh yeah, it's all genetics, so it's, all, it's all whatever. It's like, where does this come from? Like, where does this defeatist mindset come from? Like, I, I when I was fat, I could have said, oh yeah, I'm Asian, I'm the rice cell, and my eyes are too small, fuck this shit. Like, <laughs> and I would have never worked hard, and I, I would have never challenged myself, and I would have never gone in the ring, I would have never done anything, I would have never tried to make money, I would have never tried to, I like, that, everything that shapes my identity today would not have been done because of a black pill. So, when you see videos like this, don't fuck it, don't listen to them, they're stupid. This is stupid, it is... It's true. It's true. Those guys are ugly, and it's true. Those guys are immigrants. And it's true, but it, and it's true. Those guys are right next to the most handsome man on the planet, or one of the like top one hundred handsome men on the planet. That's true. Like, there's there's a fucking disparity that you can see, you can taste in real time when watching that video. However, it is true. Those guys probably most likely aren't the most hardworking individuals. They aren't on looks looks maxing. They aren't grinding to become better. You know, they haven't they haven't dared to do. They haven't tried. So, like, how, how can this reinforce black people ideology? If it was someone who was, like, jacked and shredded, and, like, he tried to look smacked, and he, and he took out his skin, took care of his hair, and then he took care of, you know, his his fashion, and he took care of everything he possibly could have, and then, like, he still isn't good enough, and he's still, like, getting rejected, and he's still too ugly for these girls, then I would be like, yeah, fair enough. But I have not seen a singular example of this, like... Like I, I've seen, I've seen this one bald guy that looks like Saitama, um, <laughs> who's like eating pizza or a cake or something, and he puts it down and he flexes, like, yeah, 
yeah, like he's the most attra- isn't the most attractive looking dude. But like this, he, he fucking he's much better looking than you guys. Like what the fuck? Like this this black pill is just so it's so like I understand where it comes from. I used to be like this too a little bit, but I don't understand how you can completely like shred hope. Like, you know you know like paper goes through like a paper cutting machine. And it just gets completely shredded. You can't, you can't recognize it what was on the paper originally before. Like, how can you completely shred hope when you haven't even tried? How can you give up when there's <laughs> there's nothing stopping you? Only you. Like when you're left to your own devices, is there anyone that tells you, like maybe on the like no, left your fully on your own devices? Is there anyone that tells you, oh yeah, you're not good enough? No, you're just all alone. Like. You choose who you listen to. I said, this DVDR guy, I, I saw him on my YouTube um, before as well, previously. And I don't know if I've watched some YouTube video before. Um, I saw his love video. Like, you have to experience love young because it's innocent and it's pure. And, well, I would, in the West, I would not argue that to be the case because of social media uh, influence and degeneracy. And if you do find innocent love, it's seldom come. And it should be cherished, of course, yeah, of course. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, you're giving up before you even run. It's like if the turtle in that Chinese, like, you know that Chinese New Year dragon race? Uh, yeah, I think dragon race? Chinese New Year race. If the turtle, like, just gave up because he was slow, he would have never gotten the position he did. I don't, I don't think he got first place, but um, he certainly got far. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> you just... You just, you just, you just fucking yourself before anything can happen. Like, fuck. Oh. <sighs> My hair was thinning before, and I was just looking pretty thick again. I started doing like a lot of cold, more cold showers, and uh, normal dog still, or nothing like that. But um, I need to get a haircut because this is looking crazy, bro. I can't come down. <laughs> Um, when I do see a guy that handsome, I have to admit the truth, I do like want to pay attention to my looks a bit more, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, I want to scuff the haircut with my hair, like fucking poking through like a mountain there. But, you know, it's, it's a video to me, I don't care. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I do want to focus on my looks more when I see a guy that handsome, the guy of that caliber. But the difference between me and the other guy he was with that was called Subhuman and Curry Cell and all these things, well, he's not even short, first of all. Like, he's 5'10, 5'11, I believe. Looking from that, because Jordan Barrett is six foot two, with shoes probably th- perhaps six foot three, like he's a pretty tall dude, but he's slouched, and like he's, he's high body fat, and he, his beard's unkempt, his hair is balding, like you know, go the first man route, just, you know what I'm saying, like there are ways you can mitigate this, retain hope at all costs, because if you don't retain hope, everything crumbles. What what's the point, like? This, this is just, ah, uh, it's just, it gets get your, like, skin crawling, it gets your skin itching, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, it is brutal video, I admit the truth, but, like, it's only brutal if you interpret it as brutal. I interpret it as inspirational. I'm gonna fucking work harder in the gym. I'm gonna grind even harder than, it, even before. I'm gonna dare to do, like, no one's ever done before. I'm gonna sit in a YouTube comment section, fucking crying about, curry so it's over for me and you no know, I'm short I'm not six foot tall and like what the fuck Floyd Mayweather probably drowns in bro he's dating a he's like he's almost 50 dating a fucking 25 year old like he could probably date even younger like t- fucking 20 if he really really wanted to like, it's fucking Floyd Mayweather you know what I'm saying like they, these ideologies do not benefit those that are successful these ideologies do not benefit those that are great and they certainly won't benefit you either. Like, Jordan Barrett. Oh, jo- I, I can be black-pilled because Jordan Barrett's black-pilled. But he's fucking Jordan Barrett and he's extremely handsome and extremely tall. Like, he, he knows the, the looks maxing lingo or whatever. Like, he's been in the game for like probably 10 years plus. Like, he can't compare. Like, what the fuck? So fucking dumb. It's just the dumbest shit. Dumbest shit, right like, yeah. Uh, and the problem with this is that 
negativity and clickbait and bullshit, it spreads like wildfire. It spreads much harder because you can you can when you see something like that's fucked up, that's truly fucked up, and that goes against your like your code of honor, or your work, or your your ethic, whatever your ethical, whatever what I don't know what fuck it's called. If you see something that you see that is genuinely like repulsive, you're going to like feel it. You know what I'm saying? Much less than you see like some wholesome post like Sijun Buddha that that um smiling. Uh, you know you know you guys know that smiling um food guy. He's like kind of imagine with. And he gives like food to the fucking like starving African children. You're gonna feel that less than like seeing fucking horrible people or horrible things happen that I, I will not name because of this video. Fucking not copyright strike, community strike. Guys, like, come on, this is this is just and, and the black the black pudding community isn't isn't a nice place either. Like, you guys are fucking assholes. And you go, he looks like he's mentally challenged. Just call him a fucking retard. Like, what the fuck? What did he do to deserve these insults? Like, yes, he is ugly, but like, he doesn't deserve that shit, man. What the fuck? Just, yeah, yeah. That's that. That's my take of this fucking dumbass video. These Jordans are really clean. I really want to wear them, but I want to increase them. Ooh, still smells fresh. See that? I really want to wear them, but. I mean, look, bottom sole, not even touched. I'm, it's kind of weird because like I, n I never really had like nice shoes growing up, and now I do. Um, I need to appreciate it much more. Like for the bubbles. Ooh. <laughs> oh my soul! Oh, my chest. I was sparring, and then someone punched me in the chest right here. Solar packs it fucking hurts still. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. See ya in the next video. Leave me your kadai mediocre. Bro, I actually like I'm gonna get kidnapped in this video like this fucking sewing holding a gun against nothing. <laughs> what I what I love my chest actually hurts though. And then I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace. Bro, I'm actually autistic, right?